So I want to dive back into this now a little more in depth with these two topics. The first one being financing and the second we're going to do is uh, technology. Uh, but a little more in depth about the new real estate market based upon a market shift in the financing. So you and I all know, and anybody that has not lived under a rock over the last three years, that the interest rates that were extremely low over the last three, four, five years have created a market of home buying activity that was unparalleled to anybody. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like what was going on. We measured that days on the market, but hours on the market. Well, however, there has been a huge market shift and that has caused buyers now to be a little more careful about assessing their purchasing power, the interest rate rates, uh, their monthly mortgage payments. And you as a real estate professional now need to recalibrate your strategies to help these savvy clients navigate these shifting financial landscapes, all right? So I want to talk about this from four different aspects. We're going to talk about the financial shift in the real estate causing the new market with respect to the impact of a rising interest rate. We're also going to talk about the buying strength in this shifting real estate. Talk a little bit about the impact on the property valuation this financial shift is going to have. And the, lastly, we'll talk a little bit about real estate professionals like you and I and our strategies for success in our new normal. All right. And that was finger quotes for those of you listening at home. So the first topic is the impact of rising interest rates on the real estate market. All right. Real estate market is a very complex system and it's influenced by a lot of many factors. OK, so let's not pretend that it's going to be as simple as you listening for a couple hours and got to figure it figured out. All right. <laughs> The most or one of the most prevailing factors is the interest rate. All right. So as interest rates fluctuate, they have a very profound impact on the aspect of the real estate industry. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about the repercussions of a rising interest rate with the buying strength and valuation, the mortgage cost, affordability, home prices, all of these things we're going to discuss as it relates to the impact of interest rates. All right. So rising interest rates typically result in higher borrowing costs for the home buyer. All right. Now, I, I don't mean actual closing costs. OK. Result in higher costs, which directly affect their buying strength. As interest rates increase, mortgage rates follow suit, all right, making it more expensive for individuals to finance a home. Consequently, potential buyers face challenges of affording the same property they could have purchased at a lower interest rate. This increased cost of borrowing is going to lead to a decline of overall buying strength and potentially slowing down the demand for the real estate. One other thing is interest rates uh, rising can impact the property valuation. As financing becomes more expensive, the perceived value of real estate may decline, causing adjustments in the property prices. This phenomenon is particularly evident in markets where properties are highly sensitive to changes in the interest rates. Okay. Another such aspect would be the mortgage plus tax, <laughs> the mortgage cost. One of the most directive, uh, I'm sorry, didn't have enough coffee. One of the most direct consequences of rising interest rate is the escalation of the mortgage costs themselves. 
as the interest rates climb, the monthly mortgage payment for home buyers also climb. This uptick in costs can affect the affordability of the homes, making it more challenging for people to enter the housing market. Affordability is one of the crucial factors in the real estate market. Rising interest rates can reduce the number of potential buyers. And as we all remember from pre-licensing, reducing the potential number of buyers reduces the value, leading to a slowdown in the overall market. This decline in affordability may be disproportionately impact the first time home buyer, all right? And those that potentially have lower income levels. So. We have all seen this problem where a mortgage loan originator or a bank will tell someone that they sh could qualify for up to, and let's make a number, 300 grand. Those people get used to, and all they heard was 300 grand. So they start looking at 300 grand houses and you get used to looking at a Ferrari and you like that Ferrari. And then the interest rates, change and now you're looking at a Chevy Nova when you just looked at a Ferrari yesterday and now you're not as happy because your affordability has gone down due to this. That's basically it, all right? So the relationship between interest rate and home prices is very intricate. While the rising interest rates may exert a downward pressure on property values due to the buying strength and the increased mortgage cost, other factors like supply and demand and local economic conditions can also play a significant role. So you have to understand it's essential to consider other factors holistically to understand the overall impact. Not only is it just the prices going down, it could be wage levels in a certain city. That's going to doubly impact that. Uh, real estate investors are not going to be immune to this. Uh, higher borrowing costs diminish the profitability of a real estate investor, potentially leading to a shift in the complete behavioral pattern of an investor. Maybe even knock them out of being an investor. Some investors may just choose to exit the market altogether, while others actually are going to be pushed towards other investment opportunities with other favorable uh, components like better interest rates, um, maybe longer terms when they go to more of a private type mortgage. And of course, we all know sitting out there that rising interest rates decline in a refinancing activity. All right, so as the mortgage rates rise, the incentive for homeowners to refinance diminishes. This reduction in refinancing has a cascading effect on the broader economy, which is what we were just talking about. It can influence consumer spending patterns as well as investing in other areas like the stock market or small businesses and overall will affect the financial well-being. The overall market you're going to see is going to take a hit because it's very intricately linked to the interest rate. The rise in the interest rate is going to contribute to a slowdown in both the buying and the selling side, creating a more subdued market than what we are used to in the last couple of years. Now, what impact this has, I don't know, because there are various factors that will go into this overall market holistic kind of look. Um, regional variations, like I said before, economic variations, educational variations, you know, how are the schools and neighborhoods? So there are going to be some other factors that p play out in here. Um, now, rising interest rates are often a response to a positive economic indicator, such as a robust economic growth or low unemployment. <laughs> All right. That's typically true. So 
you see those rise when there technically is what most economists say is a positive economic in indicator. I had to look that up several different times to make sure it was actually correct. Um, but apparently we are in a uh, robust economic growth period right now. Uh, so even though this signals a healthy economy, it can be simultaneously problematic for us in the real estate market. So balancing these two aspects to create this thriving economy is actually a very intricate process. And the real estate sector is actually the one that will suffer the most and the most by most people. All right. So the impact of the rising interest rate on the real estate part market is multifaceted. It's influencing various aspects of the buying strength, the valuation, investor behavior, regional variations, economic variations. So stakeholders in the real estate industry, what I'm talking about to you and I that work in this, you got to monitor and adapt and change and recognize these effects and how they differ in a different region, even in different states or parts of states. You know, Orlando's going to be different than, say, Panama City, where Nashville, Indiana would be different than Bloomington, Indiana. All the real estate market continues to evolve, or as it continues to evolve, remember that the interest rates are one of the key factors and driving forces inside of that new market shift. 